that that mending of the soul has to happen first. And that mending of a soul is, is something, you know, we don't have an answer to. You know, there's, there's, it's something that folks have to take on for themselves. Um, you know, likewise with Native communities, you know, there's a lot of damage out there and there's a lot of, you know, uh, historic grief uh, that still is pervasive in our communities. And that historic grief causes people to act and do things that, that uh, uh, are unconstrained by, by uh, cultural ethics or cultural protocol. Um, alcohol, child abuse, domestic violence, you know, you name it. Uh, uh, we're confronted with those, those demons in our community and they're significant. On the outside world, they're just as significant. Uh, and, and that internal healing has to happen, but providing space for that to happen is, 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 uh, is the first task. You know, only at this point uh, of years of oppression uh, of indigenous thought, uh, legally constrained uh, oppression that, that, that you cannot speak your language, you cannot carry on ceremonies without persecution, types of oppression that Native peoples have gone through uh, that only recently have our thinkers, our philosophers began to uh, evolve again, to start thinking about these things in a deep and in, 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 in concerted effort. There's always elders that had that information, but you know, the threat of, of talking about it, the threat of, of, of carrying those types of things out uh, was always prevalent, but we look to the optimism, you know, and 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 in in most native communities, you'll find that that optimism alive and well, despite all odds that would indicate optimism is is no longer, you know, in sight. I mean, it should not be in your consciousness, but there is always that flourishing of op optimism, you know, that life will will burst through the ground you know, from, from a seed that lay dormant for, for many years and bring forth new life. You know, and, and, and that's the regenerative powers of, of the earth itself. And as humans and as indigenous peoples are tied to that ongoing process, we see that life coming forth again, you know, and, and again and again. And it's gonna, gonna go on forever and ever and ever. You know, there is no Armageddon, there is no final conflict, there is no uh, 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 good and evil to the point of heaven and hell. You know, there, there, that doesn't exist in, 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 the, in the worldview or the paradigm of many indigenous folks, barring the advent of Christianity or the, the um, uh, uh, acculturation, uh, you know, into a Christian understanding. Um, in that regard, you know, there is that optimism. There may be some major changes in the world. There may be some major uh, 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 destructions that, that happen. There already are. I mean, and, and we can't deny that. We can, can no longer close our eyes to that, that, uh, that, that the, the, the ice is melting, you know, that, that change is happening on a gradual level, the earth is, is, is warming up, uh, that there's n no more oil to be pulled out of the earth. You know, there's, there's, there's limited amount of resources that, that uh, uh, have propped the society up in, in terms of, of sort of a false uh, uh, livelihood. You know, that, that doesn't, they're reaching a point where all of that, that uh, material wealth is no longer available. I mean, it comes from the earth. I mean, there's, there, there's, no, uh, there's no wealth gained in the world without taking something, you know, and, and what is left to be taken is minimal. So we understand that the world is gonna change, you know, that, that things are gonna happen that, that uh, has been forecast, has been, been anticipated, you know. Um, I think the, the concerns that, that we have in Native communities is that historically we would look to the earth and be able to identify that change long before it happens. 
you know, in contemporary society, many Native peoples, our, 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 uh, our vision has been, been changed uh, and, and, and no longer look to those types of things. You know, we need to find out what those, those, those changes are. Some of those are spiritual warnings that, that, that people still receive. Some of them are very physical things that, uh, you know, a turtle moving up the, the mountainside might indicate a high water. You know, birds flying low early in the winter might be, a, might be a very cold winter that we need to prepare for. You know, things like that that are, that are very obvious in, 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 in the world. You know, the certain plants don't grow at this level anymore, but they grow uh, much higher on the mountain. You know, those obvious things that native peoples who, who, who live and in, 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 uh, close to the earth and, and are connected to the food chain would be able to see. In recent years, I think native peoples, indigenous peoples around the world have moved away from the, those t obvious signs anymore. So the concern uh, is how do we prepare for those changes on a broader scale? You know, indigenous peoples, you know, for, you know, historically could anticipate those changes, make the adjustments in their, in their, uh, in their social life, in their, their uh, you know, whatever. They would make the changes in their, their cultures or whatever it necessary to make to, to anticipate change. And when change happens, you meet it head on and you, 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 you're be able, you be able to come through it. The type of change we're talking about Nobody is tu is tuned into those signs of of those ch that that massive change happening, you know. And and you know how do we prepare for that change is the task at hand, you know. It's certainly uh, too late, I think, for any significant change in the dominant society's paradigm to make a willing uh, change, you know. Despite, you know. Many, many leading thinkers saying that, hey, there are more people now than ever uh, uh, understanding that, that uh, a change needs to be made. You understand it, but you still you know, consume at a rate where it's unsustainable. Um, how do we prepare for change? 